Apple's smart glasses aren't just some rumor floating around anymore. Leaks are stacking up, and everything points to these being the next big product in the Apple lineup. You're looking at glasses that could translate signs in front of you, give you directions without touching your phone, and maybe even make Siri feel useful for once. And just so you know, this isn't sci-fi talk. This is what's in development right now. Stick with me, because I'm breaking down every detail that's leaked so far and why Apple's not leading the race this time. They're chasing it. Why smart glasses matter right now? The smart glasses race is heating up faster than your phone battery on a bad charger. Meta already has Ray-Ban glasses out, Google's pushing Android XR glasses, and even smaller brands like Xreal are throwing their designs into the mix. That means Apple can't just roll in late like they did with smartwatches and expect everyone to clap. They've got real competition breathing down their neck. And I like that this time it feels more intense. Because smart glasses aren't just another gadget. They're aiming to change how you use your phone altogether. Imagine a text floating in front of your eyes and you replying without even lifting your hand. That's the kind of future companies are fighting for. And the second Apple's name got tied to it, the whole industry started paying closer attention. You're going to hear about cameras, microphones, and AI built right into slim frames. Honestly, the bigger story here is Apple trying to prove they can still dominate a new category instead of playing catch-up. And just so you know, that's what makes this race worth watching. The leaks and what these glasses could actually do. So what do the leaks actually say? The design sounds pretty straightforward, more like regular glasses with tech tucked in than some bulky headset. You'll probably get tiny cameras and microphones built into the frame so you can snap photos, record short clips, and even take calls straight from your glasses. And honestly, that alone feels wild enough. But the real magic is in how these glasses are expected to work with Apple intelligence. You'll be able to ask questions about whatever you're looking at. Imagine you're standing outside a restaurant, you ask what's on the menu, and the glasses show you right there. You could even check for allergens or find another spot nearby without pulling your phone out. I like that it feels less like scrolling through apps and more like asking the world itself for answers. And here's the thing, don't expect holograms flying across your vision yet. Apple's first version sounds closer to Meta's Ray-Ban glasses, but with Apple's usual touch. That means features you'll actually use every day not sci-fi goggles that make you look like you wandered off a movie set. And what really stands out is Siri. The leak suggests Siri and Apple intelligence will be the brains behind these glasses. And I'll be real with you, Siri needs a serious glow up. If it's the same old Siri we've been stuck with for years, these glasses could end up feeling more like a cool toy than something you'll actually depend on. And just so you know, Apple's also expected to add little visible lights so people know when you're recording. That privacy angle feels very Apple. And it's going to matter if they want people to wear these things in public without looking shady. Apple's quiet clues in the design. Now, here's where things get sneaky. At Apple's latest software event, they introduced something called Liquid Glass. At first glance, it looked like a shiny UI refresh, but if you really paid attention, it felt like Apple quietly showing us what smart glasses will actually need. This design is all about menus that float and adjust to your surroundings. I like that instead of blocking what's behind, they layer information in a way that feels lighter and more futuristic. And if you think that's just a coincidence, Apple's VP of design literally said, this new look lays the foundation for future experiences. That's basically code for wearables. And honestly, Apple loves to train you before they sell you. They've pulled this move before. Remember when iPads got trackpad support right before the Magic Keyboard came out? It's the same play here. Developers are already being nudged to design apps with more depth and layering. That's Apple's way of saying, get ready for this to work on glasses too. And just so you know, this is classic Apple strategy. They don't just drop a new product out of nowhere. They warm you up, they get you used to the idea, and then they drop it like they've just changed everything. Apple will make it feel seamless. The real superpower here isn't just the glasses, it's the ecosystem. Apple never just drops a product, they make everything around it click. You're already carrying an iPhone, maybe you've got AirPods, maybe even an Apple Watch. Now picture glasses that tie it all together. You're walking downtown, your glasses show arrows, your AirPods whisper the turns, and your iPhone does the heavy lifting quietly in your pocket. 
I think this is where Apple's going to shine. They don't have to reinvent the wheel. They just have to make all the wheels spin and sing. And they've pulled this move before. AirPods didn't launch with wild features, they just paired instantly and worked. The Apple Watch didn't crush fitness trackers overnight, it just made wrist notifications normal. These glasses don't need to blow your mind right away, they just need to feel easy. And honestly, that's what Apple nails better than anyone. They take complicated tech and make it feel obvious. And once they do that, you forget there was ever another way. The Timeline Everyone's watching. Now let's get to when these glasses are supposed to drop. Reports say Apple's already ramping up work with prototypes before mass production. That means this isn't some far off dream. It's real progress. And it's happening behind the scenes right now. And here's the thing. Apple loves a slow burn rollout. They plant seeds early. Trackpad support came to iPads before the Magic Keyboard even existed. Pencil support landed before most people thought they'd ever need one. It's the same move here. They're quietly warming up developers and users before the hardware shows up. And just so you know, the pressure's heavier than usual this time. Competitors are already moving fast. Smaller brands are experimenting with designs. And hype around wearables is building every month. If Apple drags too long, they risk missing the moment where people actually care. And nobody wants to be the one showing up late and acting like the party hasn't already started. That's why all eyes are on Apple right now. Can they move fast enough and then do what they always do, which is take over the whole space? Honestly, that's the billion dollar question. The challenge is chipping away at Apple. Apple's not just trying to make glasses work. They've got challenges stacking up from every direction. The Vision Pro's launch showed how brutal pricing and adoption can be. Regulators in Europe are forcing changes to the App Store and even the hardware ports. Political pressures building around where they manufacture. And Joni Ive, the design legend who once defined Apple's look, is now teaming with Sam Altman at OpenAI on a mystery device that could steal some serious attention. And it doesn't stop there. Their car project died after more than a decade of work, which now looks like a huge missed opportunity. Their AI push has been shaky compared to rivals, and every delay hands the competition more ground. Add in legal fights, the EU breathing down their neck, and supply chain headaches, and you start to see the cracks. Honestly, it's a lot for even Apple to juggle. I think it all adds up to one reality. Apple's not untouchable anymore. They're still massive, but they've got more pressure on them now than they've had in years. And that's why these glasses matter so much. They're not just another product. They're Apple's shot to prove they can still lead instead of playing catch up. What Apple could still do better than everyone else. Even with all those challenges, Apple still has edges no one else can match. Their hardware design is in a league of its own. You know they'll make these things sleek, comfortable, and stylish enough that you'll actually want to wear them every day. And then there's their habit of taking tech that starts out weird and turning it into something everyone suddenly needs. The iPod, the iPhone, and the Apple Watch. All of them started out as cool but niche and then became part of daily life. Honestly, Apple's best trick is making something you didn't even know you wanted feel obvious. And you and I both know, these glasses won't really be on their own either. They'll lean on the same ecosystem you're already carrying around, which means once Apple gets the design right, it'll be really hard to ignore them. So here's where we stand. Apple's smart glasses are coming, with leaks pointing to a design that blends everyday eyewear with cameras, microphones, and an AI layer built around Siri and Apple intelligence. Features like live translation, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and heads-up notifications could change how you interact with the world. But the competition isn't slowing down. Meta, Google, and others are already carving up the space. Apple's going to need more than just polish this time. They'll need seamless integration, smarter Siri, and enough wow factors to make these glasses feel like the future the second you put them on. And just so you know, this is only the beginning. Smart glasses could be Apple's next iPhone moment if they get it right. And that's it for today. I hope this gave you a clear look at what's coming with Apple's smart glasses. And meanwhile, if you're looking for some of the best smart glasses you can actually buy right now, I'm putting links to them in the top comments. And if this video helped even a little, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. And if you like this one, YouTube thinks you'll probably like this one next, 
thanks for watching.